Hey y'all, welcome back to A Dash of Gratitude. My name is Beth and today we're gonna make a pumpkin cake together. I don't usually bake very often and so whenever I do, I like to find the easiest recipe possible. And this one I came across, it looks so good. My kitchen smells amazing right now. I have chicken and dumplings in the crock pot cooking and I will be sharing that recipe with you very soon. If you missed it, I already uploaded a video with five amazing crock pot recipes and I'll have another video coming up soon. I'm gonna be sharing some specifically Southern crock pot dishes that you will definitely want to see. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. If you hang around to the end of this video, I would like to share with you some books that I recently ordered and they came in and I have just, I was flipping through them. I read through the stories and they are just wonderful. So they're for our homeschool room, they're children's books, but they are just so sweet. So I can't wait to share those with you. All right, for right now, let's get to this sweet, treat let's make a cake for the beginning part of this recipe we're just going to need a yellow cake box mix and one can of pumpkin puree and it's so fitting that my spatula is the is my pumpkin spatula so the recipe calls for one box of yellow cake mix, and this is just the one that I had on hand. So French vanilla cake mix. So the instructions say to combine these together. It's pretty difficult doing this with one hand really well. So I'll just get started and then I'll show you when we get done. All right, it's coming along nicely. I just want to make sure all those dry ingredients are combined. Next, we're going to put the batter into the cake dish. You can come over and say hi. 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 Why don't you introduce yourself? We have a lot of new subscribers who haven't met you yet. We have about two million. We don't have two million. Um, What's about, your name? What's your name, little boy? Robbie. Robbie. How old are you, Robbie? Six. Five, six. You just six. had. A, you just had a birthday and turned six. So six and a half, maybe. You're just six. So my oven is set to 350 and I'm going to go ahead and put this in and bake it according to the box directions. It should take about 30 minutes. I just took this cake out of the oven and it's got to cool for about 10 minutes before we go on to the next step and it smells absolutely divine. We're gonna take the end of a wooden spoon. This is a spatula. And we're just going to poke holes all through the top of this cake. So I poked holes in the top. It doesn't have to be pretty because it's gonna be covered with the topping. And I'm just gonna add this sweetened condensed milk right to the top. We're gonna pour it over. Okay. So I'm just gonna smooth this top a little bit. And then we're gonna put this into the refrigerator to cool. I will be sure to link this recipe in the comment section. So be sure to check that out. Don't be alarmed by the way this cake looks. It is gonna be covered up with the topping. So we're gonna cover this with a whipped topping. We're gonna to sprinkle these heath bits all over top. And then we're gonna drizzle just a little bit of caramel sauce uh, over top of that too. Hey, oh, okay.
caramel sauce. Can't go wrong with Ghirardelli's caramel sauce. Oh my gosh, this cake is going to be so sweet. So if you have a sweet tooth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how about that? All right, it is the end of the day, and this is actually a little later than when I wanted to be able to get to this book review, but I wanna go ahead and get this video put together and uploaded. So, um, we had dinner. The chicken and dumplings were so good. That pumpkin cake, you guys, is really good. It's really sweet, and the, um, it's it well, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. And you know what I really like about it is that it's pumpkin, but it's not pumpkin spice. There's no pumpkin spice in it at all. No cinnamon, nothing like that. It's just good. It's sweet, not too sweet. And then the crunch of the heath on top is really nice. It's probably my favorite part. Super easy and delicious. Also, I want to say I am upstairs in our homeschool room and I'm on the pullout couch. We're doing a little bit of work in the downstairs area. So Serena is actually sleeping up here for a few days. So that's why I'm up here and it looks like I'm tucked into bed, but yeah. That's what's going on. When I was setting up our seasonal book display, it is fall, and I have several fall themed books. Um, for those of you who don't know, we do homeschool. I have a kindergartner and a sixth grader in our homeschool this year. I did a quick search on Amazon for fall themed books for kids. I just wondered if there were any that I wanted to get that I never got around to buying, or maybe some new ones that I had never heard of. And so let me show you these gems that I found. I cannot even believe. Well, I can believe there's all kind of great books out there, but you know, when you find it in a new book that's, that really speaks to you, it's just so great. So I found this one, it's called Balloons Over Broadway, The True Story of the Puppeteer of Macy's Parade. And this book is so cool. I mean, I didn't, I never thought about that being like, I never thought about how that parade started. Um, some of the illustrations are actual pictures and summer cartoon. So, it's just really well done and the story is really interesting and really cool. I read through it a little bit, not in great detail. I did skim through the story and I can't wait to read it with the kids. I told Brandon about it too and I think we're all gonna read it together. It's just really cool. Like, look at this. It might not be coming across on the screen as beautifully as it is in real life. But anyway, it tells the whole story about how, how the Macy's Day Parade came about. And I just thought that was really cool. So this isn't really like fall themed, but this event does happen on Thanksgiving. And I just, uh, I had never heard of this book before. I'm glad that I bought it. Now this one. This story. Friends, I love a good story that you know, touches your heart. And I admit I am a bit of a tender hearted person, but this book here is called The Scarecrow. And it is, it made me cry. It's really, really sweet. It's a sweet story. And I can't recommend it enough. It's, it's a story about a scarecrow. The illustrations are beautiful, very soft, muted, sweet colors. And it just talks about, you know, his job as a scarecrow. And then I'm not gonna tell you about the story. I'm not gonna give anything away about it, but look at this cute, look at that little baby crow. Oh, the story is so darling and sweet. As a mom and a homeschool mom, I recommend both of these books. If you have kids or any kids in your life, or if you just love kids books, these are so good. These make a really nice addition to your bookshelf. I can't wait to read them with my kids. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you'd give this one a thumbs up. And we have so many new subscribers. I just wanna say welcome and thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider going ahead and subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you here. And I've almost reached my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Uh, once I hit that goal, I am doing a giveaway of a $100 Amazon gift card. 
So as soon as I get to 1,000, I'll be making that video and posting the details and everything that that will entail. Thank you so much for being here and adding a dash of gratitude to your day, and I'll see you on the next video.